Hey everybody! Today we're going to learn how to make a timeline chart. A timeline is a great visualization tool to understand the chronological order of events and highlight specific dates and time. They are widely used for project management purposes as well as to visualize litigation processes or relevant parts of them. Timelines give an easily understood visual format to historical events and are excellent to plan and manage software releases. We are going to create this very timeline with Vislo, which is a powerful and easy to use tool for making professional looking graphics within seconds. Let us begin. We head over to vislo.com and search for timeline, where we will find a couple of useful alternatives. But for now, we choose the classic timeline chart and start by clicking on create now. The first thing we want to do is give our chart the right look. We can select the theme from a variety of presets or you can create your own to match your corporate identity and use your logo. We now move on to the aspect that will define our chart the most, the intervals we want to use to showcase our milestones. If we know what information we're working with, we can choose the right date from the beginning, even if we are using historical data and require specific notations. In our example today, we're more interested in the granularity of time. And for that, we have these options under date style. Day, which is our default setting, week, month, quarter, year, and none, for when we want to use a different format like hours or minutes. We will teach you how to do that in a different video. Our example references financial figures, so we will use financial quarters. With the right format everywhere, we can begin to add our information by simply selecting our elements, like the document title, and start typing. We can choose to edit the existing milestones the same way, or we can add new ones by placing the cursor along the timeline axis and clicking Add Milestone. Every time we work on a milestone, we can do so directly on the canvas or on the active card. Using the integrated calendar is of great help sometimes. Once we have entered all of our data, we are ready to use more of the powerful formatting options available in our sidebar. For instance, if our dates are overlapping, we get an alert so we can do something about it. Like change our positioning setting to evenly distributed, which looks nice but is not according to scale. Another option is to freely move our milestones around changing the positioning to manual. We can also move our dates to the milestone title when it makes more sense with our data. A scale break is sometimes needed and it can be added directly on the axis. This is a technique used in data visualization to indicate that there is a discrepancy in the scale of the chart between the values above and below the break. And that's it! Our timeline is finished. Now we can export the chart as a PNG or PDF. We can also create a shareable link to let our peers either view or make changes to the chart we've just created. Don't forget to come back for more useful tutorials on charting and data visualization.